All right, here's my Leica M3 film camera. I gotta get some film in it, so let's get to that. It's wearing a legendary Summicron 50mm f2 lens. Uh, and it's a Leica lens. On the right is a cheap Jupiter 8 Russian lens. I picked it up on eBay for about 50 bucks. It's also a 50 mil and it's an F2 as well. Let's take a look at these two. Still tons of snow here, but it's melting quick. Anyway, we'll take a few shots in the cabin and set this thing up. Okay, so uh, basically what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna use a tripod, normally I wouldn't, but uh, I'm gonna put it on a tripod and we'll just take some snaps. The first lens I'm gonna use is this Russian Jupiter. We're gonna do the same shots with each lens. So what I'll do is I'll put something Russian uh, in the frame when I use that Jupiter. And uh, for the Leica, I'll just leave this guy. So I just don't get mixed up when we know what shot came from what lens. So here's the shot. I'm setting up and again, I've got the, uh, the Russian lens on there. Um, and you know, I don't know how artsy these are gonna be. I just wanna do a test here. Anyway, and there's our subject right there. Okay, same deal, different subject. We got the Leica Summicron 50 mil on and we set it up at F2 and 1 25th of a second. Okay, we focused and Let's do it. Again, we're just in the cabin here, so um, we're just gonna set up whatever I can, or shoot whatever I can find. And this looks like a good spot here. All right, we got some other stuff here. Let's take a look at this one. I've got an awesome wood burning stove here. Uh, I guess maybe we'll focus on putting something on this corner and take a look at it. And then let's look at some bokeh, or bokeh. Maybe this guy. Russian lens on here. Here's our subject. Okay, I developed the test shots today and these are just scanned. There's no touch-ups done. They're both just, everything's just scanned. I didn't flatten out the film properly. As you can see, this bit of distortion here isn't from the lens. It's from the film not being flat. I didn't take out any hairs or glitches or bumps or drips. Um, so we'll just take a quick look at it here. And I developed these with Ilford HC and the dilution is 31 to 1 and the film is Legacy Pro 100. I did a six minute development here agitating every minute for 10 seconds. Uh, I flip it about four or five times and again just a quick scan at 2400 and here's what we got. So anything with this Leica binocular in it is from the Summicron and here it is from the Summicron. You can see the detail here and the shadows, the contrast. Uh, let's take a look at the watch. Obviously that's out of focus. This is shot at f2. And now let's look at the Jupiter 8. Look at the watch here. Compared to the Summicron. And here's the detail. So this is definitely in focus. But it's a bit different obviously. As far as the tones and contrast. Uh, this aperture does not not on this camera, the one I'm shooting with. The Jupiter 8 aperture, you just set it. It's just, there's not a click stop. So who knows if it's a bit more open at F2 than the Summicron. These are both shot exact same settings. So, you know, who knows? This one shot at F8, one one thousandth of a second. And there's the detail shot. This is at 100% view of the Jupiter 8. And this is what the Summicron did. So there's, there's the detail. So pretty much a big difference there. Here's some bokeh, and that's again at F2. This is from the Summicron. You can look at the detail here. Look at the chair, background blur on the chair there. And look at the funky uh, bokeh or bokeh from the Jupiter. There's the detail, <clears throat> excuse me. Here again, Jupiter 8, F2, and there's the detail, and here is the Summicron. 
yeah a bit different for sure but is it going to kill the photo no if you've got 50 bucks and that's all you can spend i'd say buy this thing jupiter 8 there you go and there's from the sumacron Again, these are just scans, there's no sharpening, there's nothing, it's just straight up scans. I didn't do any touch-ups or even flatten the film. Here's outside, this is at F4, and this is from the Leica. You can see the difference here. Again, same settings, and this is from the Jupiter 8. See, that's in focus for sure. Okay, and this one here is at F8, and that's from the Jupiter 8, and there's the Leica, and the detail, Leica. <clears throat> so there's a big difference for sure, but if you're just posting stuff, you know, on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, I don't think anybody's going to really notice. You're going to be tweaking them anyway in Photoshop or Lightroom, but um, if you're not, there definitely is a difference. Leica and there is the Jupiter 8. The Leica is definitely on a different planet than the Jupiter 8 as far as image quality but again it's it's 1500 bucks to two grand compared to 50 bucks. Another shot from the Sumacron. This is cool I found this on the side of the river yesterday it's an old Shasta step from a Shasta trailer probably from the 50s it's kind of cool. I think I'll make this sh a shelf out of it for my scotch. And here it is from the Jupiter. See, it's still kind of cool. Again, I didn't get rid of any of these blotches or hairs. That's inside the cabin. That was at F2, and that was, it's kind of crappy light um, with the Sumacron, obviously. And that one is the same shot with the Jupiter 8. Again, Sumacron. Jupiter 8. You can see the bokeh here. And there. That's from the Leica. This is on the wood burning stove. There is the Jupiter 8. And the Leica. The Leica you can get a bit closer to. So some of the shots I had to, I was at uh, minimum focus distance with the Sumacron and I had to step back a bit. I haven't measured it, but it looked to me about a foot or so difference as far as how close I could get. And that is the Jupiter 8. And I should have flipped this one there or the other one. There is the Leica. So definitely differences. Look how clean that is across the, the frame compared to this guy. Kind of starts fading out on the edges at F2. And there's the last one. So here, this you can really see um, what's going on here. Look at the font. Look how sharp that is. We're dead on focus here, for sure. And look at the font on this bourbon compared to this Leica. Again, focus, highlights and shadows, contrast. Big difference in that one. There's really, let's take a look at this guy down here, this out of focus area compared. And there you go. Anyway, it's a $50 lens and a $1,500 or $2,000 lens. So it's not comparing apples to apples. It's just a fun look at both lenses uh, without any tweaks or any Photoshop stuff. And this will kind of let you know what you're looking at and if it's worth it to you to buy the Summicron. Although it's not just image, image quality with the Sumacron, it's the whole build quality is you know, on different planets. Um, the focus throw is different. There's a ton of stuff that's different, but maybe we can get into that in a different video. But just as far as the image quality on film, here it is. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and I will get back to you soon. Thanks for watching. The Sumacron is crazy sharp. At F2, it's sharp. It's sharp everywhere. It's sharp all over the place. Different planet.